Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about paper 2 of SPM Mathematics 2021, question 16 and question 17. Question 16. Please pause and read the question. Question A. State the duration of time in minutes Reza rest. Look at the flat part of the line where Reza is rest in this period of time. 23 minus 18. The rest time for Reza is 5 minutes. Next, calculate the average speed in kilometer per minute of his run. To calculate the average speed, we must know the total distance traversed and the total elapsed time. Average speed equals total distance divided by total time. The total distance is 5 km plus 5 km, that is 10 km. And the total period of time, 45 minutes, included the rest period. 10 divided by 45, the average speed for Reza is 0.22 km per minute. Question 16b. Please pause and read the question. The total calories that Reza should take is 3000 calories per day. He takes 250 calories of protein per day. The angle of sector of protein equals 250 over 3000 times 360 equals 30 degrees. The difference of angle of sector between sodium and calcium intake is 36 degree. Let sodium be N and calcium be K. N minus K equals 36 degree. Equation number 1. The angle of sector of fat intake is 11 degree. 13 30 degree. Calcium K carbohydrate 209 degree and sodium N. A full circle has 360 degrees. 11 degree plus 30 degree plus K plus 209 degree plus N equals 360 degree. Equation number 2. From equation number 1, transpose K to the right hand side and substitute N equals 36 plus K into the equation number 2. 11 degree plus 30 degree plus K plus 209 degree plus 36 degree plus K equals 360 degree. K equals 37 degree. Question 16C. Please pause and read the question. Reza jumps at point R and smashes two markers M and N. The point R markers M and N are lie on a horizontal surface of a badminton court. It is given that R M equals R N and M N equals 4 meter. Angle M R N equals 38 degree. A perpendicular line is drawn from point R to the line M N and bisects the line M N. Form two right angle triangle and bisect the angle MRN to 19 degrees. Find the length of RN using sine formula. Sine 90 degree equals to 2 divided by RN prime. Transpose sine 19 degrees and RN. RN equals 2 divided by sine 19 degrees. RN equals 6.143 meter. Calculate the difference between angle of depressions of marker M and marker N from point P when Reza makes a vertical jump of 0.25 meter and 0.15 meter at point R respectively during the smashes. Reza makes a vertical jump of 0.25 meter and smashes the shuttlecock to the marker M, forming a right angle triangle of PRM. The height during the smash is 2.65 meter. The height of Reza 2.4 meter added with 0.25 meter. PR equals to 2.65 meter. RM is equal to RN, that is 6.143 meter. Let the angle of depressions of marker M from P be X. Angle PMR is an alternate angle of angle X. By using the formula of tangent opposite over adjacent, tangent x equals 2.65 over 6.143. 
x equals 23.33 degrees. Reza makes another vertical jump of 0.15 meter and smashes the shuttlecock to the marker N. Form a right angle triangle of PRN. The height during the smash is 2.55 meter. The height of Reza, 2.4 meter added with 0.15 meter. PR equals to 2.55 meter. RN is equals to 6.143 meter. Let the angle of depression of marker N from P be Y. Angle P and R is an alternate angle of Y. By using the formula of tangent opposites over adjacents, tangent Y equals 2.55 over 6.143, Y equals 22.54 degree. Therefore, the difference between the angle of depression of marker M and marker N from point P is equals 23.33 degrees minus 22.54 degree, that is 0.79 degree. Question 16D. Please pause and read the question. The table shows the data about the shuttlecock speeds when smashes using racket S and racket D. Based on the data, which racket should Reza buy? Justify your answer. Standard deviation is usually used to compare sets of data by calculating the margins of error that occur in the survey reports. It helps in understanding the measurements when the data is distributed. So, we try to find the mean and the standard deviation of the speed of the shuttlecock for racket S and racket T. The mean speed of shuttlecock for racket S the sum of 254, 251, 256, 260, and 253 then divided by 5 equals to 254.8. Calculate its standard deviation by using the formula. Sigma equals square root of variance. Substitute all the data as into the formula. Find the sum of the square of 254, 251, 256, 260, and 253 divided by 5 minus the mean square, the square of 254.8. Calculate the result. The standard deviation for racket S is 3.059. The mean speed of shuttlecock for racket T, the sum of 252, 255, 258, 254 and 255, then divided by 5 equals to 254.8. In the standard deviations, substitute all the data t into the formula, sigma equals square root of variance. Find the sum of the square of 252, 255, 258, 254 and 255, then divided by 5 minus the mean square. The square of 254.8. The standard deviation for racket T is 1.939. If one of the racket should raise up by, we can see that their mean are the same but their standard deviation are different. In general, a low standard deviation indicates that the data is dispersed close to the mean, while a high standard deviation indicates that the data is dispersed far from the mean. Therefore, Reza by racket T because a smaller standard deviation value indicates that the shattered cock speed is more consistent when using racket T. Question 17. SM Kesari Bhutte organizes a field trip to Kuala Lumpur on a particular weekend by using a charter bus. Question A. 1. Take the ratio of the number of teachers to the number of students. There are 5 teachers and 35 students all together. The ratio of the number of teachers to the number of students is 5 to 35. Divided the figures by 5. 5 divided by 5 equals to 1. And 35 divided by 5, 7. That is 1 to 7. Questions 2. A student is selected randomly from the group to be a photographer. Find the probability that the selected student is a boy from Form 5. There are 7 boys from Form 5 students and the total number of students is 35. Therefore, the probability that the selected student is a boy from Form 5 is 7 over 35. 
Simplify the fractions. 7 divided by 7 is 1 and 35 divided by 7 is 5. The probability that the selected student is a boy from Form 5 is 1 over 5. Question 17b. It is given that the total fees collected for the trip is 3,000 ringgit Malaysia. Each teacher has to pay for the ringgit Malaysia more than the student's fee. Find the fee that must be paid by a teacher and a student. From the data given, forming two linear equations and solve simultaneously. Let the fee for a teacher be x and the fee for a student be y. Since each teacher has to pay 40 ringgit Malaysia more than the student fee, form an equation of x equals y plus 40, equation number 1. The total fees collected for the trip is 3000 ringgit Malaysia. The fee for 5 teachers 5x plus the fee for 35 students 35y equals to 3000. 5x plus 35y equals 3000. Equation number 2. By substituting the equation number 1 to equation number 2, substitute y plus 40 into the x variable. 5 times y plus 40 in the bracket plus 35y equals 3000. 5y plus 200 plus 35y equals 3000. Transpose 200 to the right hand side and adding 5y to 35y. 40y equals 3000 minus 200y equals 70. And substitute into the equation number 1. x equals 70 plus 40. x equals 110. Therefore, the fee that must be paid for a student is 70 ringgit Malaysia for a teacher is 110 ringgit Malaysia. Question 17c. Please pause and read the question. Question 1. Based on the information in table 7, a speed time graph of the bus is drawn as shown in diagram 10. Find the total distance in kilometer of the whole journey. In a speed time graph, the distance traveled is always the area under the graph. To find the total distance, we find their area and add them. Firstly, the distance drive for the first 40 minutes is the area of the first travel zooms. Its parallel size, 36 minus 8, equals 28 minutes and 40 minutes. Convert minute to hour, 28 plus 40 divided by 60 and the distance between the parallel lines of 90. Error of travel zooms equals 1 over 2 times sum of parallel size times distance between them. The distance drive for the first 40 minutes is 1 over 2 times its sum of parallel size 28 plus 40 divided by 60 times the distance between the parallel size 90. The calculated result is 51. Then, the distance drive from 75 minutes to 200 minutes is the area of the second travel zoom. Its parallel side 191 minus 79 equals 112 minutes. And 200 minus 75 equals 125 minutes. Convert minute to hour 112 plus 125 divided by 60 with a distance between the parallel lines of XD. That is 1 over 2 times 125 plus 112 divided by 60 times XD equals to 158. 51 plus 158, the total distance of the whole journey is 209 km. Questions 2. Diagram 11 in the answers page shows an incomplete distance time graph. Using your answer in question 17c1, complete the distance time graph and hence describe the motion of the bus from 8.15am until 10.20am. According to the answer in question 17c1, the bus had traveled 51 km in the first 40 minutes. The straight line is drawn from 0 km to 51 km and the time is 40 minutes. Then, stop at the resting area for 35 minutes for breakfast. A horizontal line is drawn till 75 minutes. Starting again from 75 minutes to 200 minutes and cover with 158 km. 51 km plus 158 km equals to 209 km. 
a straight line is drawn for the route. Then, stop for 130 minutes before departing to the next destination. A horizontal line is drawn till 300 minutes. Here's the distance time graph for the motion of the bus from 7 am until 12.30 pm. Hence, describe the motion of the bus from 8.15 am until 10.20 am. The bus drives 158 km for 125 minutes. Convert minutes to hours, 125 divided by 60. Find its speed. Speed equals distance over time. 158 divided by 125 over 60. The calculated result is 75.84 km per hour. Therefore, the bus drive for 158 km from 8.15 am until 10.20 am with a speed of 75.84 km per hour. Question 17D, please pause and read the question. Jeku Linda and Jeku Kumar have different opinions about next destination they should visit first in order to save time. Jeku Linda mentions that they should visit National Place next, while Jeku Kumar says that they should go to National Library first. Whose opinion is better? Give your justification. They stop at National Science Center before departing to the next destination. For Jekulinda, if she plan to visit National Place first, her route will start at National Science Center P to National Place T, then headed to National Mosque S, followed by KL Tower U, Petronas Twin Towers R, and her last destination, National Library Q. The time from P to T is 15 minutes. T to S, 21. S to U, 20. U to R, 11. And R to Q, 9. The total time covered by Zeku Linda is 76 minutes. For Zeku Kumar, he planned to visit National Library first. His road will start at National Science Center P to National Library Q, then headed to Petronas Twins Tower R, followed by KL Tower U, National Mouse S, and his last destination National Palace T. The time from P to Q is 13 minutes, Q to R 9, R to U 11, U to S 20, and S to T 21. The total time covered by Jeku Kumar is 74 minutes. According to the results, Jeku Kumar's opinion is better since his road is 2 minutes shorter compared to Jeku Linda's. This concludes our SPM Mathematics 2021 Paper 2. Hope this video is helpful to you. I want to thank you for going through this lesson with me. I will see you in the next one. Bye!